can't bear to look at my body. I'm hideous. She just had surgery. Of course, it's not pretty. Did something go wrong in the operating theatre? Oh, Ursula's bullied her. It's that obvious. Dr. Warner left your surgery early to go and have lunch in the cafe. That's what I heard. And left you in the hands of a less experienced surgeon. Apparently. Who discovered that Dr. Warner hadn't cleared the infection properly. Many were approached at Shortland Street to give their views, but only one man was brave enough to speak out against this medical tyrant. Your who? Did you pay off an orderly, the cleaner? So what are you saying here? That no one can question him, challenge him? Not when he picks up a scalpel. Oh, the surgeon's ego. There is a big difference between ego and confidence. Take a moment. I know this is hard for you. Who are you calling? My lawyer. Grand as promised. And another 25 just for good measure. Oh, you should have. <laughs> What's this? Thailand, first class. One seat, one way. Mm, Henry thinks you're the brains of the operation. He's going to find you sooner or later, so it's time to go. Come on, partner, stop flogging your dead marriage. Come with me. We're good together. I made sure we were good together. What's that supposed to mean? You more people should know. The bed's just another tool of the trade, right? We all have our tricks. You're stone cold, Mr. Mitchell. Do you know what they call a killer who shows no remorse? That's right. A psychopath. Just go. understand what Ben saw in Heather, a woman twice his age, but I put up with it. That's the best that I could manage until one day I couldn't take it anymore. And you said something to Ben? To Heather. I told her that if she really loved him, she'd let him go and have a normal life, a normal relationship. What did she say? Not much. But when Ben found out... Fireworks. The biggest argument we have ever had, and then I went away on my OE. We haven't talked since. I thought Ben might have said something. No, I had no idea any of this was going on. He emailed me about you. I didn't know about that either. That's because I never emailed him back. <laughs> Some sister I am. You're here now. Good as that, you know. I stuffed up his life, and now I can't even tell him that I'm sorry. I think you're giving yourself too much credit. Ben had a great life. He loved his job. People around here really liked him. And don't get me started on the Mustang. Ben and his cars. How'd you put up with it? House rule. No car parts inside. Well, you try your best. He was lucky. Yes, he was. To have you, I mean. Jane's gone. Vanished. But you knew that already, didn't you? I may have put my two cents worth. $160,000 worth. I want my money back. Well, there's no point in me saying all wrong. It's not like you go to the police, is it? That's probably the most expensive drink you'll ever buy. Savor it. I'm going to go and talk to the doctors. Tell them that it's time to turn everything off. Do you want me to come with you? No. I want you to stay with Ben. You need to say goodbye to the man you loved, so... Take all the time that you want.
think you've picked this carcass clean. Time to move on. Not until I've found a few more brave souls willing to speak out against the tyrant Chris Warner. Did you like that word, or was it a bit much? You are a lying, sensationalist parasite. I'm just giving the people what they want, the truth. You wouldn't know the truth if it slapped you in the face. Something I'm sorely tempted to do myself. Oh, is that a threat? No, but it's on my wish list. Turn that thing off! You have one major defamation suit coming your way. Everyone calm down now. It's all right. We got what we came for. <laughs> yeah, bankruptcy. Once my lawyers are finished with you. Come on, Chris. Don't you recognise a wind-up when you see one? You were never going to air that rough cut, were you? Of course not. It's pure defamation. She just wanted a reaction and you just gave it. Thank you, Dr Warner. I'll be sure to let you know when it screens. <laughs> Cheers, Chris. You just made my job a whole lot harder. Well, maybe you should have done your job properly in the first place. I was trying to save your butt and a little bit of hospital face while I was at it. And by stealing really good PR, that. You hugged me for that last week. I was delirious. Hey, I'm on your side. Well, from now on, stay on your own side. In fact, stay away from me altogether. I think that's best, don't you? Chris. Yes, any communication from now on can be done via email or via your PA or anything where I don't have to look at you or listen to that smug and slightly annoying voice. <laughs>